what this video this is dr lakeisha j cole and i am dedicating this video to the title don't give up on yourself and what i mean by that is don't let yourself go like life happens to people and it happens to all of us but don't just let yourself go because you're in a new phase of life like life can get you down things can be hard and difficult and you might really find yourself struggling with some things but don't just ignore and neglect yourself like don't let people see you in such a way that they're wondering what the heck happened to her what the heck happened to him like you used to be all this and that back in the day you know maybe during your school days or something like we've all had moments in our youth if you're older like me um i'm 45 so if you're in your 40s or earlier maybe even your late 20s and 30s and you're reminiscing back to when you know maybe your life was easier um i don't know you know maybe it was easier for some people it, it was harder and it just got better with age but like don't just let yourself go to the point where you lose yourself completely you don't look the same you don't talk the same if somebody saw you on the street who went to school with you they wouldn't even recognize you they'll be like who is that oh that's such and such that oh that's lakeisha uh-uh like you don't let life and its hardships just take you over because i'm gonna have to pause this for a second but some people, they just, you know, like I said, I don't want to ever come off in a judgmental state because I've had my struggles. And for the people that I make videos for, I know you've had your struggles. And we just don't know what each other's struggles were or are. And... it is just so hard like seeing people you know in different states and you really don't you don't know what happened you don't know what 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 turn left for people and um especially when it's somebody that you know like when you when you run across a person that you knew and they just they don't look the same they don't talk the same and like really from a non-judgmental but like a caring part part and it just shocks you to see some people that you knew and it's like you just wonder like what happened and you hate that whatever happened to that person like you're seeing this version of them you know outwardly and like i said some people can look fantastic on the outside and be just as torn up on the inside and so you know it goes for both outer and inward like when you see a person and you spend time with a person and you talk to an individual and you just see a change in that person and it's like for me i can't speak for everybody but for me like it really does something to me because i mean i know when like i know my journey so i know the things that i struggled with that people who knew me from like school days or something you know they probably wouldn't have known from the outside because I've always been a person who, you know, I like to keep myself together. And, um, 
but inward like from the inside I really you know had some things that were really hurting me and from the inside it was just tearing me up and then you know it was filtering over on the outside and I mentioned this in my video when I was um, that has gotten a lot of attention about loving yourself and forgetting negative people but the reason that I'm saying this about me as well is because you know, I'm making the example that people would see me on the outside. And, you know, as long as I was together, you know, outfits and all that, just that's me in general. So I'm going to do my best to look my best. Um, and if I can't, I just won't be going out uh, because that's just who I am. But to feel like. Ugh, you know mm, when things just when, once they start filtering out and you can just tell how a person talks and looks and acts and it's just so far away from what you've known it just I mean it makes my heart just go out and like I said I've been like that so you know it's not coming from a judgmental place it's just like a place of concern and it does make me think about when I was um, you know having my struggles and it was like like I said as far as on the outside you could like you couldn't tell but people who knew me like really knew me and loved me they were like what the heck is going on with you like you're you're different you're you're talking different you're acting different you know there were like like I said I wouldn't really necessarily go out if I couldn't look my best but like I started for me I just kind of sheltered in and I didn't want to really be around people and you know like my social light that butterfly that I was like it changed I didn't want to be around people you know, I didn't really have that care that I had always had. And, um, you know, it's just now I still like, I guess it takes me back when I see people and it's emotional. You know, it really is emotional for me because it's like, I just do. I know that people really have their struggles in life. We all do. And when you just see people that you felt like you knew and you see them going through their struggle and stuff and they don't see it like they don't see it or they see it but they're so in to that place that they don't care and you know like they were nothing like this and um you know it's just like me if I just when I say I don't care, like, I don't care. I don't care how I look. I don't care how I dress. I don't care what I'm doing. Like, that's not me. That's go get her some help. Me. And so when I see other people like that, it's like it feels the same way. Like, you don't even see yourself, you know. And you just you look a mess you're talking a mess and um it's just not it's not good you know when people are in that place and the the worst part is just mainly when you don't even see it like when somebody else sees it in you and you don't see it what is all this on my window that came from just driving and coming back. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know, I told you I'm a freak when it comes to. I don't like a dirty window. Okay, but. Um, it just. It's, it's so hurtful um, to just see people like. 
you know, in this place. And like I said, I'm sure people who love me and who saw me when I was just like in a space where I just didn't even care, I know that it probably just hurt them. You know, because people who really love you, like, you get offended when people recognize that you're letting yourself go. And pick it up, whatever you need to do. If you're in a relationship that's taking you over and it's causing you to just let yourself go, or you get dealing with some family issues or some other issues, whatever you're dealing with, and it's just causing you to just, like, you don't care. I don't care how I look. I don't care how I act. I don't care who I'm hurting. I don't care. When you start getting like that and people who love you are trying to reach you and you're just unreachable, like you're in that place where you're just gone. Like nobody can talk to you. You don't see it. The people who love you, they're enabling you. They're not going to tell you the truth because they're afraid that they're going to lose you because you're going to, you know probably not want nothing to do with them when people are trying to help you get your life together and you just don't want to hear it because you don't care and they they can see you in on the verge of losing things that you care about like they know when you snap out of it and you come to yourself you're going to what is that they know that you're going to care about the things that you're losing the things that are actually being affected while you're in this stage of non-caring and letting yourself just go. And um, I, I just want this message to continue to be motivational, just like the rest, that just don't let yourself go. You know what I'm saying? Or if you feel like you're losing control and you're letting yourself go. I know it's difficult to hear because like I said, I've been there and um, all of us who have children, you know, you probably talked to your children at times where they were just, you know, doing things and you were trying to reach them and they didn't want to hear from you, but they can hear from other people. So I, I know this and I'm trying to take myself in consideration first um that I know when somebody is trying to reach you and you know that person loves you like you know who loves you and if you're being offended by people who love you because they're saying look I need you to snap out of it you know I had to pause it but when you see somebody who loves you and they're trying to get through to you a lot of times it's because they really um you know they really know that um they're seeing you outside of yourself and um that's what i really want to focus on like they're seeing you outside of yourself you can't see yourself. Like, it's like you got dirt all over you and you just talking, you know, nonsense and you don't even really know what you're saying. And you don't really even see yourself. You don't know what you're doing. The decisions you're making, they're not like your norm. And you're allowing your outside influences that are stressing you out badly to influence poor behavior and negative actions from you that you're going to walk into later on and um like i said you know this was initiated because it was just motivated by like i said just you know seeing someone um, that I that I knew and just really just feeling like you know just so shocked I guess you know shocked 
and then immediately heartfelt because it's like gosh you know what happened um and you know really being compassionate because i do i know life happens even if i haven't experienced what somebody else is like i said you know i'm in the health professional i've seen life do people over i've seen people look older than their age i've seen people um have a health history and it's like it just doesn't match you know that life must have really hit this person hard and poor decision after poor decision came afterward and it led to you know a certain outcome and we all you know we we have lives we we see the world you know even if you don't understand what's going on all the time you still see things and like just don't don't give up on yourself like don't give up on yourself don't let go don't let things in life that are just you know just make just remove you from who you are you know at your core and um you could just tell what's life and what's a person because people are pretty consistent and then when you you know you know the phrase hit rock bottom like when you go through things and it just changes your perspective on life it changes your attitude it changes what you care about like and um ugh, just don't let yourself go like there are people around you who do care about you and when you let yourself go like you you're not just hurting yourself you're hurting other people and when you're hurting yourself that hurts people who love you like it hurts them to see you hurting yourself and um like i said you know people try to hide behind that i love you and enable people to uh we 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 struggle right here with the light um but like I'm just going through something right now um but like I said just you know people who love you sometimes you gotta learn how to say no like sometimes you have to just forget about what your loved one is gonna do and say and how they gonna be mad and angry at you but like you know when you need to say no like no no i'm not gonna do this i'm not about to give this to you i'm not gonna like you know what i'm saying like i said a lot of people they gossip about you behind your back and they'll talk about everything that you're doing but yet they're still enabling you they're still helping you to do the things that they know that you don't need to be doing or pushing you to a habit that like now you looking at okay it started off slow but now it's just completely heavy and it's ridiculous like and you still just helping your loved one put themselves in this position because you can't say no but then you can go with your cousins or your your other you know friends or other people and tell them you know you can sit there and talk about your loved one you know like a dog about what they're doing but you not gonna stop your part in helping them do it you know you still giving them a ride to go somewhere that you know they don't need to go but then you gonna sit back and talk about them like you're enabling them and yes it's their problem it's their decision but you're playing a part and you have to stand up for yourself and them and say no no i'm not gonna do this for you 
I know you don't need to be over here doing X, Y, and Z or whatever. And if you do want to do that, then you're going to do it without me. And tell them I love you and go on about your business. You know, keep telling them I love you, but go on about your business. Don't I love you and then you helping them just ruin themselves. Like stuff like that, it kind of makes me, you know, get in some kind of mode about people because like people just like sometimes they they enable you and then they send you on your way because it ain't their problem like you know how you got that loved one that you care about and you roll with but you know hey they got to go home and deal with their wife or their spouse or their husband or whatever you don't have to deal with it so you you helping them do stuff that they don't need to be doing and then they going on you know they ain't got to deal with it and that's what makes some relationships that people have so hard and they don't have to be hard because like you just get stuck and you don't care no more and then you're not even considering the other person because well i don't care about myself if i don't care about myself no more that's gonna affect you if you my significant other like if i just throw up my hands and i don't care nothing about myself no more or whatever that's gonna affect you and then it's gonna hurt our relationship and it could be anybody in any type of relationship it's different types but like i'm just sharing things because what i'm realizing is everybody is dealing with this stuff like we're all dealing with it just at maybe different times in our life along our journey but it's nothing new it's just a different person in a different household dealing with something and sharing your thoughts can be really helpful to people so this message is about don't let yourself go don't let yourself go and if it's not you and it's a loved one don't enable them love don't don't attach i love you to enabling oh i love you but i'm gonna help you go over here and get yourself in trouble no learn to say no because when you love somebody like don't add to the problem just you know we live and we learn and we get better and what i know now i didn't know before and so what i do know i'm sharing and i i hope that this really helps somebody who might be experiencing this now or who may deal with it later on this is dr lakeisha j cole have a wonderful night